also I don't know how to rap, but I can teach you guys some salsa. <laughs> <laughs> And um, in the beginning, she was having a difficult time. But what I like Isabella is like she always had this huge smile. And I remember once when I started seeing how much improvement she was making, I actually took the time to meet up with her. And I told her, Isabella, do you notice how well you're doing on your test? She's like, yeah. And I said, you're doing all the work. And she's like, I know, Mrs. Leon. I said, so, but I think you're helping me a lot. I said, no, it's only your mindset. You want to do the work and you're actually improving because you are listening and participating and engaging in class. So um, this year again, I have a pleasure in having her and my Spanish too. And Isabel's the type of student that I don't have to worry about sitting in charge because wherever I put her, she's willing to work with the person next to them. And for me, it's very important that kids uh, earn those communication skills because out in the world, they're gonna have to go and apply for a job at one point, right? And if they're kind of shy and they don't wanna speak, there will be a problem with that. So when I see Isabel helping any kid I put next to her, my heart just like floors because everybody's like, yeah, put me next to Isabel and she, she helped me out. Or like, she guides me. And like you say, look at that beautiful smile. I see that every time. She never has a negative attitude. She's always willing to work. And you know, I didn't even have to prepare a speech because she's an outstanding student. And I hopefully she continues to do this because I'm very, very proud of her. Keep it up. <laughs>